had just moved home from Cambodia. She was just getting back in the swing of living in Canada and dealing with the sub-zero temperatures. When I told her to join my cousin, Becky and I, up at Apex for an outside hockey tournament. Wit said, sure, why not? It'd be nice to go hang out. So she packed 45 sweaters, 50 pairs of leggings, multiple toques and scarves, and we set off for Apex. <laughs> it was our first night there. Our team headed for the bar for dinner and drinks. It was here that Mr. Pat Jordan joined our lives. Whit had gone to the washroom while she was gone. Some guys came over to chat and have some fun. When Whit returned, she was not impressed at all that some random had sat in her seat. I believe her exact words were, that's my seat. <laughs> Little did Pat know he was being told to move by his future wife. That simple chair steal has led us to this spectacular night and these two newlyweds. Standing here today, I think about the choices I made five years ago to move tables and sit down in a particular seat at the bar, not knowing I had stolen my future wife's chair. <laughs> Call it fate or pure luck, but that was the moment that changed my life forever. And since that day, I have gained a life partner and a best friend. Pat, they say you'll meet the one when you least expect it. And that cannot have been truer for us. I had no intention of pursuing a relationship of any kind. And then I met you. It took almost a month for us to get together again. And that moment finally came after I crafted a reason to go to Vancouver and see you. <laughs> All we did was go for a walk and play crib. But those simple activities made me feel like I was right where I needed to be. I no longer questioned where my path would lead me because it had led me to you. I don't think the saying opposites attract could be any more true than us together. Although we have very different personalities, I believe we bring the best qualities out in each other and constantly challenge each other to get out of our comfort zone. You're beautiful inside and out. You have stood beside me while I took on one of the hardest ventures of my life, starting my own company. You pushed me to find something that made me happier. I can't begin to thank you. Your commitment to me is unwavering, and I can always count on you to be there. Falling for you was one of the scariest things I've ever done, because to give you my heart also meant you could break it. Despite my fears, I knew if I didn't try, it would be my biggest regret, and deep down, I was certain that you would do everything in your power to protect it. Whitney, you look gorgeous. The sister I always wanted. I'm glad to make it official. Pat, I couldn't be happier to be up here today and stand next to you on your big day. I've always been so proud to be your sister. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Whitney, welcome to the family. I can speak for all of us when I say you're a perfect fit. I vow never to stop trying to be a better husband and father to our future children. I vow to be a shoulder you can cry on when you're feeling down and to put you first no matter what. I love you and promise to love you always. And I know that when we're old with our own kids and grandkids, we'll look back on today with fond memories, the moment that our future begins. I love every inch of you. You have been patient with me and have helped me tear down my walls. So today, I vow to never give up on us because you never have. To love you deeply and unapologetically. To do for you what you do for me, which is make me happy. There is no one else I'd rather do life with. I choose you today and I will continue to choose you for all the days to come and then some.